Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how to develop the cutting details of a, th a 533 by 210 castellated beam size. So that in, if you intend to outsource the cutting services, or if you're lucky enough to be in possession of this uh, profile cutting equipment, like uh, the plasma cutter or laser cutter, you'll be able to give out the cutting details as per your requirements and you'll get started right here now i'll come to i'll mouse over this button here applications and component you remember the moment you mouse over this button at, at, at the bottom end here you'll be able to read the information there like applications and component this is where we access all the macro uh, um, the pre-installed or i mean the the default one or the customize the customize means the one that uh, yeah you access through maybe tecla warehouse now i'll click on that uh, button then i'll go straight here and type castellated uh, beam and this will, will come up now i'll double click on that and I'll snap on that spot and stretch all the way to 12 meter there you can uh, you can see that 12 meter right there and click it right there and give it some time this is how it looks I'll, I'll, I'll click right there and this is how the cast uh, castellated beam look like and from here this is the point we will now develop the cutting details of our of our castellated beam so that when you when we take them to workshop to be cut we'll submit the uh, the required details as per as per our requirements so in case in case you have the equipment this will be very easy and if you intend to outsource these requirements it is a requirement that you you attach or you send the cutting details prior to uh, to pass to purchasing the profile prior to cutting or you send uh, the sections for them to cut it for you now i have this in in, in on my screen now i want to uh, feed in uh, my standard or the standard details the standard uh, cutting details of this particular uh, castellated beam size of of this particular beam in this case i'm talking about the 533 and the 210 castellated beam size now i've already done done this so this is uh the parameters that you, the, the key parameters that you need to feed in when giving when giving out the the, uh, the cutting the cutting details of a castellated beam now i'll start from this spot from this end to this end i'll feed just the same 154 154 not 1.145 154 right there this is from this end to this end now i want this dimension from this this point to this point i'll feed 134 already in place just feed 134 already in place and uh, from far end of this polygon of, of this cutout from that spot to this spot of the castellated beam I'll feed this 533 remember this is a 533 by 210 castellated beam size now the full height of our castellated beam will stretch to 800 that's it now once you've done that just go ahead and click and and click apply and apply and accept that right click and click interrupt then once you've done that all the parameters are in place right click and redraw to remove those signs of cutout now i'll double click so symbols of cutout now i'll double click on it the moment you double click on it you'll, you'll be prompted with these tecla structures uh, tecla structures castellated beam uh, dialog box and you can still go further and modify this now today i am giving you uh, the uh, the development detail or uh, the development cutting details of a 533 by 210 castellated beam 
now I'll close this click on empty screen and uh, I want to cut out this part I want to trim off this section all the way to that end now what I'm going to do I'll come to edit here and come to points and come to at any location I'll snap on that spot and snap on that spot now I'll pick this point then right click and come to copy then uh, snap on that spot to zoom out and I'll go all the way to the other end I'll snap right here I'll place it right here I don't know why I'm doing this I want to trim this at the center right here so that it takes the picture of uh, of a cutting a proper cutting detail details of a proper uh, development development cutting details of a castellated beam now I'll come to uh, polygon here and click on this then uh, I'll snap right at the bottom end here then move all the way to, to the center of that beam then move to the, this end here then come down here and snap here then move all the way to my initial uh, point here and uh, click right there right click and uh, right click and zoom out then I right click once again and redraw so that I, I only remain with this one here so this is what will be trimmed off now I'll go ahead and uh, select on this right click and come to copy and pick it from that spot and maybe bring it somewhere there right click and redraw and redraw now I want to flip this by 180 by 180 to do that or mirror I want to mirror this by one 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 I want to mirror this and use this this point to this point as uh, a mirror line now I'll select on it and price to selecting on it first of all you have to reorient your XYZ plane I'll come to view here and come to work plane tool and uh, I'll place my work plane tool right on that position right click and click interrupt just to exit from that work plane tool command now I'll select on it then I right click and come to special copy I'll come to rotate or mirror I'll come to mirror here then I'll, I'll use that spot and use this spot as my mirror line then click copy that is how it looks and it doesn't look what we want it doesn't look okay now what I'm going to do is very simple I'll just I'll just uh, select on this right click and come to move I'll pick it from that spot and, and bring it right there so it looks like that but it's it's not the best thing we we, we we expect to see now what I'll do once again I click undo and do and uh, I'll select on that then come and uh, then right click and come to move special and click rotate now I want to rotate it along this line so if you take a look on the move move rotate dialog box I have uh, I have line here so I'll pick line at an angle of 180 and I'll snap right the bottom end here and uh, go all the way to that spot then click move and I click OK then it has turned 180 now I'll select on this right click and come to move and uh, snap at the bottom end here or the top end right here and join it with this one and right click and click redraw to remove everything so what I have here is uh, a, a cutting a, a, a development a cutting development of a castellated beam two components welded together at the center here at the center here now we want to confirm the height of this beam and I'll come to measure and I'll snap on top right there and snap on the bottom end here and that is 300 we can confirm that by double clicking on this and that is eight, that is 800 and from this end to this end is 5 33 and we have 210 here this is a standard cutting cutting development of a cast little beam of this size 533 and 210 the, uh, the flange 
the flange width is 210 and the, the cutting profile of the castellated is 533 note this now we are done and uh, if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and let's meet then on the next step of another detail of uh, of castellated beam development detail thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and bye bye